you normally have a, a well populated hive and you can put this on and then put your small hive on top of this and you just open one of these and the bees can go out the back instead of the front and the bees can't contact each other because there's a double screen in here and the advantage is the heat comes up here and helps the smaller hmm. uh, hive so you can <coughs> this is homemade too through that hole come over and from here on from here on out it's all syrup so they get under this board and, uh, and, and can't float out and the screen keeps them pretty well contained and yet they have access to the surface of the syrup and you put that on top of the hive and if you want to use like that uh, bag feeder or something where you okay. need depth or you want to put on uh, pine wall stuff in the, in the fall where you got these little packets mm -hmm. on top or you got some room that's all that gives you and then you put your covers on top and if you leave it on long enough you can see the, the bees try to make a permanent by blastering it down see it goes on like this so your covers fit on top of here now, so you got all this gap oh. for that moist air to oh, right. float, fall over the yeah. sides. And the only tricky part is this little box here where the bees come up. And they can get out that way. And they come out of here in the winter time. And also, this, these get frosted up because of the, the moist air, but not completely closed. So you leave the bottom one open. And so you can get, they can get some air through there, but they really pour out of here. Do you have that on all your hides? In the wintertime, yeah. Wow. I don't wrap them or anything. I was looking at one on a website the other day, and instead of this pan, they had made their solar melter narrower, and they used one of those big turkey foil pans that you throw yeah. away. Perfect. Because you can bend the a spout out of the front, and oh. uh, it'll drip down into these pans at the end of the three four hours. And this is all liquid in here. I just take this and pour it into the cupcake pans and, and get the smaller pieces. Because if you give somebody a chunk like that, it's hard to work with for candle makers. But you can see how uh, nice and yellow this is. This yeah. is capping stuff. That's as good as it gets. Shred the paper. Shred the okay. paper. Shred. You can see the flame shooting out. And that's just to get it going. Mm, curling up the cardboard. That's interesting. Just roll some smoke over. And that pollen patty is about three days old, so they're not really tearing into it. Hmm. That's a good sign. <laughs> you can pry it to the side to crack it from its adjacent because right, they're always stuck together. You just pry it out. <laughs> You can see this one's mostly honey. Solid honey on both sides. You don't want to get a female. Right. <laughs> see, you can score these two and then they'll start to open them up. Oh, look, so you're, we're in the spring now, and let's just say if they're all capped with honey, what are you going to do with that? And I save it, and then I feed it into the new packages. Okay. Put a couple on each side, you know, as well as feeding them through the Do you have to paper. save it in a, in a low humidity area, or can no. you just put it in your garage? Just keep it away from no, mice and other bees. There you go. Wow, look at that. Well, this is a pretty good hive. Is it? Put that wing right there on that one. And do you think the queen has started laying eggs yet? Yeah, I saw eggs in here the other day. <laughs> I got to uh, run into the eggs yet. Yeah, yeah. Now, there's eggs in here.
what you do is you get the sun so it shines right down to the bottom. And just tip it, just take the eggs. You can see the eggs here. And you can look down the bottom of the cells. And you see a little white egg. So Bob, are you typically looking at every single frame when you open this up? Nope, when I run in the eggs, I put it back together. Oh, because then you know the queen's alive? Yeah, here's the queen. That's the queen. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, yeah. That's huge. Wow. Yeah, white dot is pretty predominant. She's oh, in good shape, though. Good for crazy. you. You go, girl. You like those eggs. You stay out here until you see it. Don't get coffee on this. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no, oh, now he's talking. Oh, sure. But a queen can be good up to three to four years, can't you? I mean, she's really, yeah, she's really laying nicely. You don't really have to replace her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's kind of iffy after two years. See those bigger cells? Let's use a magnifying glass if anyone wants to try that. You guys see the eggs now? Yep, I see yep. it. As we're melting the wax. Yeah. <laughs> or I can take some of these sealed brood frames and put them in with the packages and boost them up. How come you don't reduce your box size for warmth, like take the lower one up? I'll do that when it warms up here and I want to clean off mm -hmm. the bottom board. But you don't leave it like on three deep. Yeah, so I usually do get out. The queen might be there and you might kill her by doing that. So you take it out really easy and you go away from it. We got about as far away from the queen as we could get. Because <laughs> if I just started on this side, we'd have picked her up in the first. But you wouldn't break that extra comb off? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you should do it. Now you can stand these on the end and everything and it doesn't hurt to do it. In fact, it's better than putting it down and squishing all the bees that are on the bottom. You know, this sure. stuff you scrape off, pick up and melt down and sell to your candle making friends. And see, when it really warms up, I'm going to come out here and get all the dead bees off the bottom. I'll show you what the bottom looks like. Those are empty. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. These are empty pretty much? Oh. Yeah. Now, what you want to do with these is it's put these... winter kill there? Yep. You can see how many bees I started out with. Put them in your yeah. garden. You put things in your garden. In your garden, huh? And bury them in the really good fertilizer. Anything in there. But eventually it'll go up on the top. I see you still got your insulation in there. Yeah. It's time to... That can come out too. That can come out this time of year? Yeah. I don't know if it's I heavy. Install the buzzing. So normally I'd have my little clipboard with me and I'd make a note that I reversed and got the queen on the second level. In the fall of the year, the bees will fill all these frames up with honey. And after that, they start making this stuff and it's white. And they're trying to make more spaces to store honey. When I see white on here, I put my supers on, two at a time. Two at a time? Yeah. Put two on at once. And then, because this is all uh, filled with honey, the queen doesn't come up there. She's down below. Okay. And she knows there's no open cells in the, in the honey portion, so she stays down below. It's kind of a barrier, so she won't go up in the supers.